Welcome back to another video, Don Marie here. In today's video, we are going to be discussing why I stopped taking hormone pills and started the injection. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I am transgender. Um, I'm sure everyone else knows that by now. I take hormone pills on the daily to make sure that my body doesn't revert back to its original form. Or whatever. I used to take six milligrams of estradiol, which is the pill form of estrogen, and I took six milligrams of that every day. I'm not good at all at remembering when to take my pills. Going through the day, I just forget sometimes. Like early in the morning, it's easier for me to just like, you know take it and then remember but throughout the day it gets hard to remember because say I'm out with friends or something having a drink and then I'm like oh crap gotta take my pill and then I take it sublingually so I would have to let it sit under my tongue for like 10 minutes so I'm sitting there in silence when my friends are trying to talk to me and I have to tell them wait like my estrogen is dissolving. My endocrinologist called it something such as like pill burden so basically what that means is just like it's a burden to take this damn pill every fucking day three times a day throughout the day Some days I'll just go on and live my life and then I'll just be like oh crap like I only took four milligrams today instead of six or I only took two like it was just very inconsistent it was messing with my sex drive um it was messing with my weight a lot like I've noticed that I've already lost like five pounds also because I work out and I'm vegan so that helps a lot too however like I've noticed that like my weight has been very consistent and even like shredding more pounds as I seriously <laughs> I've just been consistently staying at a good weight and even losing weight progressively and that's the goal because you know your girl did gain the quarantine 15. Oh, I started the injection shot um, so it's called Estradiol Valorant. I take, what do, how much do I take actually? I'm like how much do I take? Um, it tells me to inject one milliliter every two weeks intramuscularly. It looks something like this. It's really tiny but it has all the estrogen in there and I still take my spironolactone which is um, the testosterone blocker um, so that I can block the testosterone and then inject the estrogen. I asked my doctor, um, they're actually they, I switched doctors, I didn't switch doctors but the old doctor went to another place I think retired and then there's a new doctor who is more educated it seems like. I asked the first doctor, I was like, should I like start injections because word on the street is that the injections are more potent and they work better. And he's like, oh no, like actually I think, you know, the pills are better because it's more consistent and you're taking it every day so it keeps the estrogen levels higher. I did my research and that's really not the case. He was saying like, oh, the injections actually give you a higher risk of blood clots and all this and all that, which is also not the case. The only way you're susceptible to blood clots is if you can have a high level of estrogen from the pill form. I've been very happy with the way things are going with the injection and I love how it's made my body feel and look and my energy levels and my sex drive like I'm constantly wanting to have sex like <laughs> like I'm not constantly having sex because I'm not a little floozy but I'm constantly wanting to get it on if you know what I mean. Okay. Everything feels stable and not like I'm just depressed and unbalanced, you know what I mean? I'm sure some of you who take the estrogen pill and you forget because of pill burden to take it sometimes, um, you start to feel unbalanced and it's just not good for you and your mental health as well. I honestly did not think my boobs could get bigger because I've been on estrogen for five going on six years now woohoo to me. I didn't think that anything else could change because I'm like okay this is, has to be it. This is that I've reached my peak of whatever is going to change. This is how it is. If I want to alter anything it's going to have to be through surgery. I've been noticing on top of like my workouts and butt workouts and stuff that my hips um, muscle wise and fat wise the transfer in that area it's been looking more even to my shoulders instead of me looking like an upside down triangle. Because I was so inconsistent with the pills like it was just 
a box in that area. It was not cute. Um, I've noticed that my boobies, they're really, really, really sore because they're growing more. Um, and I feel like that is just the best feeling in the world because I was like, uh... I was been I've been wishing to get a larger size in my implants because my doctor did say don't go too big because your boobs are gonna grow but then I peaked I or at least I thought I did and my boobs just felt like they stopped growing so um, they've been growing a lot and they are still so sensitive um, right now and I'm so happy about it to be honest I could just tell the difference in like my bras my bustiers and my shirts and everything it's just popping I'm also gonna demonstrate how I do my um, estrogen shot today for you guys so first you need to start with washing your hands which I did already and then I have my little uh, section set up right here today so um let me angle you guys differently one sec be right back okay guys no lie this is the part that always freaks me out I've done this once before but like it doesn't get any easier for me because I hate needles now the needle is pretty thin but it is kind of long so it freaks me the hell out so what I have next to me the estrogen I have the little alcohol wipe that I prepped to wipe off the top of the estrogen bottle I have the first needle which is going to be used to take out the estrogen um valorate um out of the vial into the actual needle um and then i have an alcohol sterile alcohol prep pad which i'm going to be wiping the area of injection um for today and then i have my actual needle here and the one that's going to be going in my leg to inject the estrogen. The first step is always wash your hands though. I did wash my hands already so I'm ready to go. And then next I'm going to switch from that needle to the one that's going to be getting the estrogen out of the bottle. And so you just screw that on. Also make sure not to have your needle um, exposed to the air because all the little particles will get onto it and this little cap is what keeps it sterile until you're ready to do what you got to do with it you know okay so next I take my little vial and I wipe off the top just in case anything got on it so that we can make it sterile you can tell that my whole vibe just changed because I'm so nervous oh my god what you want to do there's little markings of how much estrogen you're going to be taking. So I'm going to go to number one, a little past number one, because that is the amount of estrogen that I'll be injecting today. So I pull it down. Okay, a little bit past the one. And then what you're going to do, remove the cap okay, from the needle. And then you're going to insert here. And then what you want to do is push that air from in here into the bottle so that it makes it easier to withdraw the liquid. So I'm going to push that all in there. And then I'm going to start pulling it out. Make sure your needle is totally submerge up underneath the liquid first and then start pulling you're gonna have to keep doing that up until you get to the line of the number that you're supposed to be taking now you just go a little past it because there is an air bubble at the top that we need to get out of here and then you can push that air bubble back up and then pull down again if you need to and just keep repeating this process until all the air bubbles are out so take that off okay set that to the side where did my little cap go so then you just put the cap on this and then you remove that one because that is not the one that we will be using to put the estrogen into our bodies so then you take the other needle that will actually be used to inject and then you want to make sure 
that you push up and once a little bit of the estrogen comes out and you can see it in there um, that's how you know all the air bubbles um, are out now the air bubbles aren't really um, dangerous for you but what they do cause is soreness in the area that you will be injecting and it's um, I've had that soreness and it's no fun just make sure you keep doing this till the air bubbles are all out I got my final one out because I seen it now if a tiny air bubble goes in remember it's not the worst also it's cool it's good that the product on um, the estrogen is going down on the needle um, because it's lubricating it to be injected I'm gonna set that aside and I'm now going to prep the area that will be injected so how you know where to inject on your thigh is you take one hand and you place it on the pal uh, the hip area and then you take another and press it on your knee and then the area that's in between I'm sure I'm looking in that little viewfinder thing so I can I think my leg is exposed yeah it is so the area in between here is where we'll be injecting today so now I'm about to sterilize Ugh, guys, this makes me so nervous. I really hate doing this. So I did my other leg last, um, the other two weeks ago, to inject. And so I'm just switching off so that it'll be, like, not the same leg each time. And, like, I like to inject, like, on the kind of, like, the outside of the thigh because that's where, you know, the muscle is. Take off the cap. And then once you inject, you want to make sure that your leg is very relaxed, no muscles are flexing, and you want to pinch. Okay, and once it's in there, you want to aspirate. And now I'm done. And then you just want to put pressure on the area. And you're all good. Oh my god, this guys, this makes me so nervous. <laughs> I'm sure you guys are like, oh my gosh, this girl. But I'm all done. And um, that's basically it. So I just hold here. I didn't bleed at all, so I'm good. I didn't hit a capillary or I didn't inject into like an area where there was like a vein or anything, so I'm good. And then you just wanna make sure you put the cap on. And then dispose of the needles. But yeah guys, that was pretty much it. And thank you guys so much for embarking on this journey with me. Um, I hope that I showed you guys how to do it the best and that you guys learned a little something. I can feel that estrogen in me, baby girl. She is feeling herself. Um, so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video today and I'll see you guys in my next video. Mwah.